Today on San Diego Living, out with the old and in with all those new Christmas gifts. But if you're struggling with getting things in order, don't sweat it. We called in a professional organizer for some help this morning. Kimmy, thank you so much. We're talking about getting organized out here because if you or your children got a lot of gifts over the holiday season, you're feeling overwhelmed about what to do with this stuff. Maybe you're just starting to take down the Christmas decorations. You're thinking, now what do I do with this stuff? We've run out of space and room. Well, you haven't. We're just going to help you get organized this morning. Uh, we have Kathy Burns, a professional organizer, joining us this morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Perfect. I appreciate it. Let's just start with the, the Christmas decorations <sighs> this morning. Let's start with what you're yeah. likely disassembling and taking down. Now now is the time to put away your lights, right? So there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. I, this is a nifty little way. You could just use a regular hanger uh, to organize your cords. Of course, this one is also available. Now, this is my favorite. This is a grab and go. This holds a whole tree's worth of lights. Now, there's a little secret to this that I learned the hard way a few years back. Always have your mail in out because whenever you put the other end out, then whenever you have to unroll the, the whole, whole thing. thing. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I found that out the hard way. So th these are easy ways to organize your lights. You can also use something as easy as a magazine and wrap it around. Yeah, oh, that's really easy. Okay. If you don't want to buy anything. So the big ball of lights from Christmas vacation is never a good idea. Exactly. Get it organized. Or a bag of lights is terrible because then you open up the bag, you know, and yeah, it's it takes mess. you a very long time to get rid of them. Uh, Christmas cards. Christmas cards. Now, I can't tell you how many times I organize clients' homes, and they have all these piles and piles and years and years of Christmas cards. Now there's they something. They save that. They stuff? save they them. Save, okay. Yeah. And so what you can do now is send all your cards to St. Jude's Ranch because they'll take these cards, they'll recycle them, and they'll resell them. So you can now mail all your Christmas cards in. Now, obviously, if there's a photo, they don't want that, you know. And, okay. And, and please, folks, whenever you send out photos, okay, to photo cards, you don't have to send them. And number one, you don't have to feel obligated to keep them because someone's face is on them. See, it's your okay. college roommate from 20 years ago, and they're her kids. You don't have to keep it just because their face is on them. You can go ahead and recycle. Okay. I give you permission for that. So, okay, because I always wondered, you do feel a little bit bad about throwing that stuff out, but my house is so small now. We have taken up every inch of space. I don't have room for things like that. Perfect. So sorry, if you sent me a Christmas card, there's a good chance it ended up in the recycler. I'm sorry. You're Which is an A plus in the okay. professional organizing. Yeah, she said yeah. it was okay. Now, if you have extra holiday cards, you can also send them in to St. Jude's Ranch. Or if you want to, please, if you're going to keep them, pack them away into your colored bins. Don't leave them laying around the house for the next year gathering dust okay so okay. put them in your holiday bin so whenever you come out it's everything's in one space. everything's in one space it, yeah uh, exactly. do you like these colored bins I love the colored bins the reason being is whenever you send someone up to the attic or the garage or whatever to retrieve them they come back with the right colors they okay. come back with the right things it's very easy to identify orange okay. and black for Halloween red and green for Christmas you got the idea precisely um, some of the other things go through this well whenever you have tablecloths anything that's actually holiday oriented I want you to stow away into the holiday bins a lot of people I will see have all their holiday uh, items still laying around the house throughout the year like their you know their napkins or their tablecloths they're not going to use them until next year same thing with their holiday CDs why not just to stow them away put everything in one bin that way when you get the bin out yeah then you know where everything is one two one three or four and which leads us to another point if you have these bins it also gives you a contained confined amount of space which is an organizing one-on-one -on -one principle so if you say I'm only gonna have three bins for the holidays you know when your when your holiday decoration collection has gotten a little bit out of control. Okay, if you can't fit them back into the three bins, then you know it's time. Yeah, project things up. Oh, we exactly. have about 30 more seconds here, but for all the gifts that kids received, yes. uh, maybe the toy boxes, the closet, the living room, the playroom, it's full now. What do you do with this stuff? Well, I love your idea that we were talking about earlier before the segment is to keep the, keep the kids, you know, stash the gifts a little bit and give them out throughout the year. Um, also, anytime that you're going to put a gift into the room, if it doesn't fit, the kids do need to release. So it's never too young to teach the kids to donate and to let go. So it's good to purge before the holidays, but if you haven't done that yet, make sure to, if you're going to put a toy in, to have the kids choose what toy they're going to donate to charity. That's true. We did this with my three-year-old. I'm not going to say it was pretty, because trying to tell a three-year-old <laughs> you're donating some of your stuff didn't go over so well, but nevertheless, two big bags of toys left my house. 
thank goodness. Exactly. All right, Kathy Burns, professional organizer at spacetoyourlife.com. Uh, we're out of time, but you have a really quick contest. If you send in a photo of your yes. messy room. In January for Get Organized Month, we're going to have a competition here uh, that send in your messiest photo of your pantry or your home, and whoever has the messiest photo is going to win a copy of the Home Organizing Made Simple online course uh, through Add Space to Your Life. So you can email advice at adspacetoyourlife.com, send in your photos, and let's start the competition. We, I know you all have messy houses out there. I'm one of them too. All right, Kathy, <laughs> thanks. We appreciate it.